Hi, I'm Nazmi. I'm currently working as a pricing manager in Graving Phone Limited. It is a leading telecom company in Bangladesh. The best part about my role is the fact that it constantly updates uh, with the dynamics of the market. I have a say in almost all of the important decision making. For instance, if there is a new product out there in the market, uh, I'm responsible for tracking how long it has been in the market or to which subscribers is this product being given. Before pursuing my uh, non-nutrity program, I was always interested with deriving insights with chunks and chunks of data. This one course actually spoke volumes to me. It was the business analytics course. And I thought that the modules were actually very relevant to my current role. Whenever you stumble upon something that you do not know how to answer that, you know that there is a whole network of people who are learning and who are also facing the same problems and who can help you with these responses. Udacity did help me to sharpen my critical thinking and also my business acumen. The Women's STEM program was a very profound experience and it was very personal to me. It was really um, intriguing to listen to their stories and uh, feel that how my experience is vastly different from theirs, but we are all riding in the same boat. Organizations in Bangladesh do not really encourage uh, the female colleagues to stay up late. They particularly insist that the female colleagues do not stay up late because it's not safe. So this is where I feel that females are actually at a disadvantage compared to males. They can always stay up late at their office and uh, complete their work. However, I feel that I'm fortunate to work in a company where I have not been subjected to such a discrimination. It never occurred to me that I would find learning about the business analytics and the data science or learning how to code to be so intriguing. Had we uh, been explored to this vast horizon of data analysis or business analysis, I think more and more female learners would be encouraged to be a part of this. Whenever you think that perhaps I have reached the epitome of uh, knowledge, the next day you feel that you have not learned anything because there is so much to learn about this field. In order to ensure that you excel in whatever field that you have chosen for yourself, do not stop learning. There are tons and tons of learning opportunities. Just grab the nearest opportunities that you have and just dive in. The new skills that I learned thanks to the university program made me feel more comfortable to start talking about those topics. My name is Sonja Galtin and I am a DevOps manager in Telenor Sweden. Um, I'm responsible for three teams in the DevOps uh, setup. So we are responsible for developing and operating our business support system. And uh, yeah, what I really love to do and what excites me about uh, my work is meeting people, uh, having different people, experts bringing in their ideas, uh, collecting those ideas and uh, make things happen. And that is something that excites me every day. And that is what I really enjoy about my work. There was a post in, uh, in Workplace saying that, uh, yeah, there is a, a scholarship program together with university and there's different nano degrees that you could choose from if you get selected and that immediately caught my attention and uh, I play, applied for that program and maybe a, a week later I got a message from our headquarters in Norway uh, saying that I was selected by my business unit for that program and when I saw on the list on the university program that there is a course for artificial intelligence for business leaders uh, I felt that this is something I would like to take. I think already now it is so much AI everywhere and it's really impacting our lives and I think the impact will be even uh, much bigger in near and far future and so I think it's really time to upskill because I had no clue about it earlier and uh, so that was something I really want to, to have more knowledge about and understand what uh, what is the content behind and what can you do, actually do with it. It was important to get like some basic knowledge and a foundation to build on and uh, so I saw this course as a good uh, opportunity to get this foundation to be able to understand scientific papers, for example, or podcasts, or even talking with uh, other tech people, uh, how to implement it. And so that was the reason that I found it inspiring and important uh, to get this basis. Yeah, online learning is something that 
uh, at least in my life, is uh, really a, a big, big luck. Uh, when I moved to Sweden, um, I started to learn Swedish. And as a mother of young kids, uh, there's not a lot of time uh, and uh, flexibility. And so that made it possible that I can learn at all. The cohort meetings uh, helped a lot to, to keep up the motivation because basically there were women from all over the world in, 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 in similar positions. And um, everyone had to deal with like work and family and managing like the studies uh, somewhere in between. And yeah, it was like very motivating to see that others have maybe the same challenges and how they did overcome them and uh, just yeah, knowing that you are not alone, that was really helpful. For me personally, I'm, uh, I'm inspired by role models and basically knowing a role model doing similar things that I could imagine. Sometimes women have not so many touch points earlier maybe and also when they look at their role models and the families, um, maybe it's also Usually, you tend to go more in the direction that you you see you see more women being maybe a teacher than an engineer. Having more role models uh, makes it more easy for me at least to go forward and uh, to see maybe perspectives I would not see um, uh, without knowing a woman in that uh, field. I would still say it's still a male dominated field, but women are definitely making their way and putting putting together a platform for themselves. My name is Ermeen. I am an AI product consultant um, over on the East Coast. Uh, basically what I do is my job is to help build AI products end to end. So that entails going from starting out with the business, understanding what their current uh, business problem is, um, you know, how their current operations work and how AI can be brought in to make things better, so growing up, um, especially as like a daughter of immigrants, my parents did set certain expectations for what they um, hoped that their kids would turn out to be like. So I think technology was never a thing. It wasn't ever an option. And even when I was um, like, you know, a junior or senior in high school trying to figure out how do I get my college applications ready? Uh, what school do I want to go to? Tech wasn't ever even something that I considered because it just seemed like it was a boys thing. Um, all of the tech schools that you know were presented to me by my counselor like had like 70% of the student population was male. I just never thought that I'd be good at math or that I'd be good at coding. So I never even explored it. And I've never seen anyone like a woman in tech at that time, especially one that looked like me. Uh, so it just never really presented itself as an option. Um, when I haphazardly came across the experience of coding in undergrad, I was surprised by how much I liked it, but I still didn't think that I would be able to pursue it as a career because I had this idea in my head that seems completely insane now that it just wasn't a place for a woman. I don't know, that just sounds crazy, but I just, I had never seen a woman work in tech. I worked a little bit in a uh, blood donation lab. After that, I switched over to HR actually. Uh, so HR was sort of like my non-STEM period. I'm very, very fortunate that my boss um, is someone who looks out for my development. He became aware of the opportunity for the AI and business leaders uh, Udacity Executive Nano degree. He recommended me for it, um, told me, hey, take a look at it, see if it interests you. If so, I'll support you all the way. Um, which I did take a look at it, did some research, and I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. I think this is a skill set that I am still lacking in, and I'd like to be better at it. Before taking the Udacity degree, I wasn't like a full AI product consultant. I couldn't do everything end to end. My specialty was focusing on visualizations. As I completed the degree, I could see and learn and begin to understand about the AI product end to end, because that's exactly what it was teaching me. And that's exactly what I was able to take and implement on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it taught me everything about AI product architecture, again, from starting on the data side all the way to visualization. So I realized that as I got to the end of the certification, I was helping to contribute more to my team 
by using those learnings that I took from Udacity, my role did transform from before the Udacity degree to after the Udacity degree. And now my responsibility does include the full AI product, which I'm super excited for. This field is definitely the field that I belong in. It allows for me to um, be a science nerd, uh, to use my creativity, um, to push the edge of technology and the edge of, of innovation. This is the future. We're living in it right now. And becoming more, uh, what should I say, um, knowledgeable about all these different technologies that we're using from our phones to the websites that we're interacting with, the apps, um, the just technologies just everywhere. I think it's definitely time for more people to understand how all of this stuff comes into play and how it affects your day-to-day -day life. I actually do lead a team of uh, developers, um, software engineers, and they're all male. And for the most part, they're all older than me, um, which again is quite quite an interesting experience. Um, the future of STEM is definitely female, and I think the field is all the better for it.